Hello and welcome to Watch Mojo UK's Weekly Lowdown, a super serious UK news show about some things you care about and some things you probably don't. So, first off... Yes, Game of Thrones is back. Well, not quite yet. April 14th this year is when it's all kicking off again with Season 8, the final season, but HBO have given us a teaser trailer to keep us guessing. And with the Starks undoubtedly reuniting and Heritage being the big talking point, and we all know why, it's rather fitting that they take a trip back to the family crypt. We even get a cool Easter egg in the feather which was the same feather left by King Robert Baratheon in Season 1. Wonder if we'll ever see the Starks on the Jeremy Kyle couch. Scott, the DNA test has said that Jonathan is not your biological father. Right, Brexit, the B word. And this week it looks like we've been given more questions yet again and less answers. With Theresa May's Brexit deal pitch going down like a lead balloon filled with liquid lead. And we're not going to get into it, we just wanted to say hey, things aren't all as bad as they seem. It's not like it's time to start coining terms like Brexocalypto or Brexocalypse or Brexageddon. With that said, we thought it'd be fun if we asked you guys in our community tab which British treat you would take with you when you, sorry, if you were ever forced to seek refuge in a fallout shelter. Some interesting picks included Josh's 20 years worth of jammy dodges and PG tips. Nell Leo's 1,000 boxes of Walker's Crisps Original and Sea Salt. You have me at oven baked. Frederick Michelton's Warburton's White. <laughs> Justin Smith's canned beans and canned fruit because he's not sending a political message, he's surviving and starting the Raiders. <laughs> and John Townsend's Iron Brew. Just Iron Brew. Coo -coo. There was also Wetty's Greg's Sausage Rolls, but not vegan ones. Rebecca Martinson's Jaffa Cakes or Sausage Rolls, again not the vegan ones, and Potterfan500 said they actually would want Greg's vegan sausage rolls. And yeah, oh we're actually getting breaking news through now from our sausage roll correspondent Tony Fleming, who says that a local Greg's has, a, yeah, has actually sold out of its vegan sausage rolls and it's working round the clock to get them back on the shelves. Now Potterfan500, if this is you buying all the vegan sausage rolls, stop it. Brax again was just a joke. You are fake news. Now those of you who keep a keen eye on social media will have no doubt seen the latest trend of how hard puberty hit you. It basically has people taking an old photo of themselves and comparing it to a new photo to show how hard puberty hit them. Here's mine. I'll let you know as soon as I get there. Now eagle eye viewers may have noticed that there is an egg sat next to me with Harry Potter pants on. Now the reason for this egg is because of our last news story that sees Kylie Jenner's baby picture which took Instagram by storm and totted up the most likes ever being beaten, or is that poached, sorry I had to do one, by a picture of an egg. Now this picture was posted by an anonymous Londoner and so far it's managed to get over 40 million likes. The egg has even had to verify its Instagram page with a blue tick due to copycat accounts. Who is this Eggman? Is he also a walrus? Did the egg just take a selfie? Let us know your conspiracy theories in the comments. In other news, the brilliant Andy Murray has sort of retired from tennis. I wonder what his Twitter bio is gonna say. Pierce Morgan in a hospital bed and Gemma Collins and Holly Willoughby clash over dancing on ice. <laughs> See you next week. Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.